We begin with that breaking news. Japanese television running urgent warnings at this hour after first reporting another missile launch from North Korea. Japanese TV reporting the missile has passed over Japanese airspace. Several population centers have been warned. The launch is yet another provocative move on the part of North Korea. So let's get right to ABC's David Curley following late developments from Washington. David. Good evening, David. Very provocative. This missile traveled 2,300 miles and right over one of Japan's main islands. It is the second North Korean missile to fly over Japan in the past month. An extremely aggressive move by Kim Jong-un. In Japan, alarms blaring, according to the Japanese media, which says the missile was launched near Pyongyang, passing over the Japanese island of Hokkaido, landing in the Pacific Ocean. According to the Japanese broadcaster NHK, no attempt was made to shoot down the missile. Just this afternoon, President Trump speaking aboard Air Force One, saying he's working with the Chinese on pressuring North Korea and trying to reassure Americans. But believe me, the people of this country will be very, very safe. The Pentagon says initial assessments suggest this was an intermediate range missile, not an intercontinental missile, which could reach the United States. Today's launch coming just days after the UN passed additional sanctions against North Korea. The launch comes less than two weeks after North Korea tested what it says is a hydrogen bomb, which can be mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile, its sixth and most powerful nuclear test.